Okay, hi. Um, I'm so I'm just going to take you through the steps of mixing your shades and tints um, of you uh, for your color wheel for your painted color wheel, um, your Eaton color wheel. Um, so we're starting out here. I just want to show you the process of mixing on your palette and um, and how that is going to look. Um, so here we have a, just a pile of um, your yellow that you've mixed your pure hue yellow that you've mixed up and containerized. Um, I have put out a little bit of your car, you know, carbon black um, onto my palette. Notice I have it along the edge. Um, you could even get it a little closer to the edge. What you do want to do is maximize the amount of mixing space that you have so you don't feel cramped and so that you don't kind of contaminate any of these two piles. Um, so this is sort of the basic setup um, that we're looking at. I'm going to go to the next image here. Um, and now the first process, right, is to mix um, your first of two shades. Um, in this case, right, even though um, the lighter of the two shades is right next, you know, will be positioned and painted on right next to the pure hue space, um, we are actually going to mix the darkest of our two shades, okay? So this and, you know, so, so basically our mixture is separated, right? Um, and there should be another, or the one that we'll mix after this is going to be the one that sits in the middle, right? Um, the value middle of both your pure hue and um, your darkest shade. Um, what I have here is I have uh, pulled out uh, my color aid. This is shade two of my um, yellow and this is yellow shade one, right? And you can see they're pretty different. Um, I think you wanna aim for sort of somewhere in between here. Um, you don't, I would much prefer that you be closer. You could even go here, right, for your value for the shade one, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, you could match this. This would be your um, darkest band. So really this is your shade two band, okay? Um, but it's going to, let's just say it should match the value, right, of your, um, of, of this yellow, the color aid yellow shade one. I think if we go darker, it's going to lead you, you know, to have issues um, regulating the value as we go to darker and darker pure hues. Okay, so what I've done now is I've started to, I've taken a little bit of my yellow first, right, with my palette knife, taken a little bit of the black, and again, Start out with a small amount. You can always add in more, right? Just till you get used to kind of how things are working and you can better estimate the amount. Um, you do want to mix up enough so that you're able to um, have enough paint stay wet, right? So that you can apply it onto your um, prepared color wheel, right? That, that, that shade step right, that is the darkest shade, you want to have enough paint to, to put that on there and to maybe even paint a second coat on, right, should this be, should this go on a little bit too transparently. Um, okay, so I'm starting to mix that here, right, um, and then for my next one, I think I've lightened it probably a little bit. This also could, the previous photo could have just been a little bit dark, frankly. Um, so here you can see I'm sort of checking to see you know how this how the value of this compares to my other um, you know shades my color aid shades of yellow. One thing you'll notice is the hue of this will be I mean it is it's it is a shade of yellow right it is a shade of pure um, hue yellow but you can see that it appears to be greener right than than what um, we have for the color aid um, and that is just simply because they I believe they've approached um, you know what they put in to mix the shades of each of the pure hues a little differently we're adding black to all of our hues in order to darken and when we do that right that is going to give us this sort of gr much more greenish looking um, you know, darker value of yellow, but you are fine here. This is what you should be getting that greenish look. Okay. Um, just as you were doing, you think back to the first notation that we did and how green each of those, um, you know, the shade mixtures were obviously 
you've added a lot less black than in that exercise, um, but this should show you, you know, that how how to do that. Remember, this is also going to dry down darker. Please have your hair dryer um, with you so you can dry this, and so you can more easily compare it to the um, the dry color aid swatches. Um, I would probably say that maybe we would go a little bit lighter than this. Okay. Um, I think this is what I end up for my darkest shade of yellow, but I think even we could add a little bit more yellow back into this um, to, you know, to, to be on the safe side and not go too dark. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. So here, I guess this is uh, same, same, uh, maybe I did actually lighten it a little bit, or sorry, but add a little bit more yellow. Here is again, mixing up a little bit more paint, you know, and so that I have a, um, enough to put onto my color wheel. I still think we can go a little bit more yellow from here, right? I've started to actually, um, I've, I've taken a little bit of, a little pile, a mini pile of my, um, of this pile, right? This darkest shade, so that I can actually start to mix my, my slightly lighter, shade of yellow that sits in between the pure hue of yellow and this darker one. Okay, so let's see, we'll go to the next slide. So now you can see I've gone and I've mixed and I've mixed and I've mixed and I've used a fair amount of this yellow. Um, and then I keep, set, in order to figure out if I actually have um, something that's working, I, I have to be able to test it out, right? So if I go, um, so I want to make sure I, have yellow, right? I paint out a, you know, a little area of solid, smooth, opaque um, yellow, and then leave a tiny, you know, leave a little bit of space. It doesn't have to be quite this much. And then a little swatch of our darkest um, shade, right, of yellow. So I'll have that bare spot in between. And then as I mix, and I think I'm getting closer, I can start, and I, you know, I want to test I can go ahead and paint um, and this area um, a little patch in here. Make sure you have a nice, flat, smooth surface. You can use a brush for this if you want to. I simply use my palette knife. This is probably a little too much paint, but you know, whatever. You want to make sure you blow dry this so it dries down. This is a pretty good midpoint, I think, in between these two. Um, again, I feel like we could go light, you know, yellower with um, our, our darkest one. And so then that would put this um, also a little bit yellower too. Okay. Um, and, and that is it um, right for right now. Um, and I will, uh, the next video we will do, um, we'll start to do the tints. Okay.